funny, awful uh, cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons from the golden age of Saturday morning. And with me is Nick, there's Caitlin, and there's George. And boy, oh boy, do we got a doozy here for you. I was excited about this one. I thought this one had potential, but it, it's painful. Um, it's called Popeye Meets the Man Who Hated Laughter. It's also known as The Man Who Hated Laughter, which is actually a pretty good title. How could that be um, exactly and it's a total deep cut it was 1972 and this is one I, I found like deep on youtube and i saw it and my first thought was caitlin i was like caitlin has got this have you, you haven't seen this I no i'd never heard of it before but i looked it up and it sounds phenomenal so i'm sad to hear otherwise but it's, uh, it sounds great on paper maybe i'm wrong maybe i've just spent too much time with it today that, that could be that, that's a possibility. So before we get into it, let's talk about our cereals. Me, I'm in California. I'm in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> you eat Kashi. That's what we eat. And But I do the peanut butter crunch version. So there's uh, a lot of sugar nice. in it. So Excellent. Yeah. What you Caitlin, guys? What do you have, Caitlin? I've got the um, vintage crunch berries since we're watching oh. a vintage cartoon. I thought that would be great. But yeah. more importantly, I have an exciting new uh, night shirt to show off, which is Maxine. <laughs> My muse, who I I've hope still to be. Got someday. it, but nobody wants to see it. Uh, <laughs> that's total. That's vintage Maxine right there. I yeah. love it. It's huge. It's really comfortable, and I think like I don't know, greeting card store chic is going to be my new aesthetic. <laughs> K- <laughs> Kayla, bigger like, than uh, than steampunk. We'll see. I feel like you're like future Maxine. Like when you yes. when you actually get old, like elderly, senior citizen, you're going to be Maxine. Do you think so? I mean. I guess I'll say hashtag goals, right? That's what and, and your fiance could be Ziggy, maybe, yeah. and Ooh, you know, yeah. I think yeah, that could be a great, that could be a real power couple move. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, now, I, I love that vintage crunch berries uh, thing. Now, I think last week or a couple weeks ago, we, we've heard of Oops All Berries. And then this is one I found where Oops All Berries, I really messed up bad this time. I'm fair, aren't I? Jesus. How am I going to explain this to my wife and kids? So the factory worker is really having a tough time of it. Well, Poor I guy. thought I, I know, but it turns out he's still working there, but he's not he's not getting any better because I found oh, really? this one. Yeah. Fuck one berry. Oh. <laughs> he can't, he just can't get it right. This guy he swung too far the other way. Exactly. So this is he, he got moved over to the regular crunch, you know, assembly line, but he he put a berry in it when he wasn't I, supposed to. So I don't know. I think they should fire him personally. If I were the manager at Cap and Crunch, I would fire. I guess General Mills believes in second chances, so we'll see what he does next. But uh, I'm excited to follow. They have a strong adventures. union there. They have a very strong. <laughs> they really union. do. Yeah. yeah. George, I, I knew that um, this was a comic strip episode, so I tried to find a comic strip themed serial, and this was the best I could find. You remember BC, right? Johnny Hart's BC. This is, um, let's see, this is uh, <laughs> secretly religious serial. <laughs> um, yeah. Amazing. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Featuring yes. Booberry. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It, well, I mean, if you think about if you think about the mythology, it is in keeping. Yeah, um, you know, you're right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so he's coming out of Jesus's cave right there. I saw. Was that what it um, was? Okay. It's see, there's the, there's the there's the father, there's the son, and the booberry. And the right. three of them combine as the components of the cereal. I remember reading about that in the Bible. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. Um, all right, let, hey, let's, let's watch a commercial first. George, you, you queued up a commercial for us before we, we dive into this. Yeah, um, I queued painful. up uh, just a, a pair of uh, brief um, commercials related to comic strips. 
Right. Thursday, everyone's favorite comic strip characters come alive in a fun-filled salute to the fantastic funnies with host Lonnie Anderson. It's a magical mystery tour of the funnies Thursday. Magical mystery. For McDonald's salads, Kathy. <laughs> Itchy girl. And Iron Mike Ditka. Big Ox. <laughs> they come from separate worlds. It's a man's world. It's a human's world. They want different things. A good quarterback. Okay. But there's one thing they both love. Golf. No, McDonald's salads, loaded with fresh vegetables for loads of taste, with three new oh, McDonald's own dressings, like tangy Caesar, creamy peppercorn, and reduced calorie red French. After you, Mike. Thanks. Nice girl. Big ox. What the hell was that? <laughs> that might have Something been the great. That's what that was. I've ever seen. That must. Have, that might be the craziest commercial. Mike Ditka and Kathy in Classic a commercial. Crossover. <laughs> <laughs> sweep, sweep. What the hell? In the pitch meeting. Yeah, what's had to yeah, be amazing. Did they focus group that? They're like the guys like Mike Ditka, the ladies like uh <laughs> they needed a two uh, quadrant. Yeah, they needed a two quadrant commercial for McDonald's salads. It's the early intersectionality oh. of oh. uh you know the, the sort of couples you're trying to get couples to go. So were, to were they dating McDonald's. for a while? Ditka and yeah, Kathy? yeah, they were, were they? they were they were engaged, but they just couldn't make it work. Just yeah. arguing all the time. Uh -huh. They were like the Lockhorns. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm gonna call you Big Ox on this uh, on this episode. You're gonna call me Big Ox? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll answer to that. You're welcome, Caitlin. Do you have a Kathy shirt anywhere I in your wardrobe? Do. Yeah, I have of a course. Kathy nightgown, and I've been considering it, revealing it. It is extremely oversized, but uh, maybe I'll <laughs> bring it out for the next episode. It's pretty. It's pretty fantastic. I feel like it has to be oversized for a Kathy for a Kathy shirt. Like they all have to be like triple XL, don't they? Yeah, 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 I think so. It's 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 great. I'll show you next time. <laughs> um, all right, you guys ready to dive in? You want to do, do this? It. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, like I said. This is a real deep cut. This was on like the depths, like the bottom floor of YouTube. It was just like sitting down there, and. Uh, yeah, you're, Caitlin, you're going to see some familiar faces here, several of which I'm not familiar with. This first aired in October 1972. It was a Saturday morning special. It also aired in 1974, and then they never spoke of it again. <laughs> um, it features comic strip characters from nearly every single King's Feature Syndicate, which King's Feature Syndicate, they distributed comic strips to newspapers. And so it, it was that family of comic strips that appeared here. And there's no familiar voices here. I thought maybe we'd get a Welker. I think even Welker was like, nah, I don't think so. Um, 14 writers were listed in the credits uh, because it's just that many writers of the comic strip. So they all got writing credits. And it, I, honestly, I don't think it's that bad of an idea. Like it sounds yeah. like it should be an okay idea because most of these characters, they've never been animated before. So it was probably exciting for a fan of the comic strips to see their characters working together. Mm -hmm. um, you know what it kind of reminded me of, Nick? Like when Urkel visited Full House. You know what I mean? It was right. like, oh, I like Urkel and I like Family Matters and I also like Full House. <laughs> but now I get to see them like work together and be funny together. That's the and idea. It was, and it was also disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> extremely yeah it turns it's it's pretty bad so um i i think it might be the worst one from this season of Saturday morning cartoons Aww. for this fall i know i was really i really had my hopes up for it uh, it's an hour long which is way too long that's that's the first nail in the coffin <laughs> settle in welkers <laughs> <laughs> well i want to do this as a two-parter i thought maybe yeah. it could be fun as a two-parter but it, it, i don't think people would come back this next week <laughs> So I was like, no, this is just a one parter. And I and I and I trimmed it down significantly. Um, secondly, they shoehorn in every every character in a very short appearance, a, a short appearance. And so it makes the pacing bad and awkward and not very funny. You'll see high and lowest for a second, but then you'll never see them again. Um, and third, George, you mentioned this, the Lockhorns, they're not even in this. The Lockhorns aren't in this. They I'm all pissed. go on. They all go on this cruise in here and you'll see there's, you know, I, I cut it down. So there's some plot questions. There'll be some plot questions. Feel free to ask as we go along. I spent a lot of time with us today, but the Lockhorns on a cruise. Can you imagine how great that would be? That would be ripe for comedy. It's an so, hour right there. Exactly. <laughs> Sitting at um, the captain's table and it's worse than Loretta's cooking. I mean, it writes itself. Exactly. So, um, if, if you do want to watch this entire thing, uh, do a Google search for it. It's it's on YouTube. I challenge you. God bless you for doing that. But um, normally, you know, we we 
go into the, we watch the cartoon then we do a commercial break we watch the second half and then we do a game afterwards i want to do the game now i feel okay. like playing the game before we get started and he, here it is the, here's the reason why is because this features a bunch of comic strip characters who have never been animated before and i'm always curious like remember we watched uh what was it the family circus i was always curious mm -hmm. what their voices would sound like caitlin i'm sure you're the same way right mm -hmm. you're dying to know what their voices sound like <laughs> all the time yeah <laughs> So uh, that's the game here. I call it Name That Comic Strip Voice. So I'm going to show it to you before we actually see it in the, in the cartoon. Does that make sense? Yep. So I'm going to play a, a voice for you. I'm going to give you some options. You have to tell me whose voice that is. All right, you ready? Here it is. We got Beetle Bailey, Dagwood, and Hi from High and Lois. Ready? Here we go. Gee, I only told the mailman to stop the mail for two weeks. I, I'm going to say that's Dagwood. I'm going Dagwood too. Uh, I'm going uh, 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 high. High? You're going high? Okay. Yeah. And by the way, Caitlin, if you get anyone wrong, like you work at. I lose my job. <laughs> you lose your job. You just got tenure. And like if you get any of these wrong, like that's going to look terrible for this you. This is the one loophole when you get tenure. <laughs> oh, okay. Billy Ireland would be like, McGurk, get my office right now. <laughs> And, and, and Billy Ireland looks like Dagwood's boss, too, right? <laughs> it's like Sarge. Okay, here it is. Here's the answer. Gee, I only told the mailman to stop the mail for two weeks. Yep, it's Dagwood. Yep. <laughs> Job says, Caitlin. <laughs> so far, so good. We only have 14 more to go. All right, here's the other one. This is um, Blondie, Hi from High and Lois, and, and Dottie, Dot. You know, Dot? from a high low. I think it's uh, Lois's daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Why, that's the meanest, nastiest, lowest, most despicable trick I ever heard of. Hmm. I'll say think? Blondie. Yeah, you want Blondie? I'm, I'm say, going Lois. Yeah, I'm going to say Lois, too. Okay, here we go. Why, that's the meanest, nastiest, <laughs> lowest, most despicable <laughs> trick I ever heard of. Caitlin, two for two. Nice work. Sweating. All right, Nick, you're two for two, too. I was, I got that one wrong. Oh, you got that one wrong. Got one uh, for two. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. Uh, is this next one going to be Prince Valiant, Beetle Bailey, or the Mailman? This from... would be a lot easier after the cartoon. <laughs> this what? Game. No, no, it wouldn't, because you need all the answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Prince Valiant, Beetle Bailey, or the Mailman from Blondie? Sure. Wow, too cold for me. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was the only. That was the only soundbite I could grab where they did, he didn't say a character's name in it. Oh. And so, I'll say Beetle. I'm just gonna roll the dice and say the mailman. <laughs> okay. Oh. George? Oh. Also say the mailman because he'd be reading people's names, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're reading some context, context clues, clues here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Final <laughs> answers for everybody. Caitlin, you want that to be your final answer? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> We're trying to help you out here. Okay. All right. I'm going to Beetle. I'm moving to Beetle. Okay. I'm sure. switching the Prince of Valiant. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Wow. Too cold for me. I changed my mind. It was Beetle Bailey. All right. Uh, here we whew. go. Uh, olive oil. Blondie or Dot? What a wonderful way for the children to spend their summer vacation. I'm going to say Blondie. I'll go Blondie too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll go with what them. Wonderful way for the children to spend their summer vacation. There we go. Everybody got right. it right. And Caitlin, you haven't gotten one wrong yet, have you? Nope. No, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right next up we got the mailman <laughs> blurry image at the bottom <laughs> the mailman from blondie hi from high and lois or the sergeant i don't know he's like the boss of sarge no he's not sarge sarge's and sarge's Bill the bailey's boss yeah 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 a free vacation that'll be the first to send to debt with an expensive vacation <laughs> I forgot how bad the audio is from this <laughs> from this copy. That's why it's on the depths of YouTube. Is the audio is so bad. All right. Which character was in a um was in like a transformer station 
at the time that they were recording <laughs> it. <laughs> so that, that's a context clue. Is the buzz? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with hi. <clears throat> Okay. Nick George. Um, I'm gonna go with the mustached guy from uh, Beetle Bailey. Okay. I'm going with the mailman. All right. Only one person can be right here. A free vacation. That'll be the first person to debt with an expensive vacation. God, that's why. That's why you make the big bucks, Caitlin. That's why. That's yeah. why. Wow, nice work. All right, last one here for this game that's going on for way too long. <laughs> um, the Phantom. Snuffy, Snuffy Smith. Smith. I'm just saying Snuffy Smith right now. <laughs> or that guy on the top right, whose name I, I have no idea. Do you, do you recognize that guy, Caitlin? No. Okay. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, okay. Here I'm it is. i kind of wizard. Here it is. Dad, burn tasty. I better go check on a spark plug. Snuffy. Well, yeah, definitely Snuffy. I want it to be the Phantom, but. <laughs> the Phantom never really said Dad, burn, did he? <laughs> Dad, burn crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go check on spark plug. Okay. That, oh, wait, George, did you say anything? I said Snuffy Smith before there was sound. Oh, yeah. Because I know you love Snuffy Smith. <laughs> yes, you're right. Dad, burn tasty. I better go check on spark plug. There we go. And that's how you play the game. Caitlin, you can continue wow. your, your uh, tenure. Everything's secure. Your job security is intact. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, well played. All right. Here we go. We're going to jump in now. I think I'm going to love this. I think you are too, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just like not as fun watching it by yourself. I was watching it by myself today. Maybe it's more fun to watch with other people. Let's find um, out. All right, here it is. The man who hated laughter. That's what the White House's front lawn looks like, right? It's overgrown <laughs> and not mowed. <laughs> Classic Nixon. Help. Chief B briefing is about to begin. Everyone you asked for is here. The Phantom Steve Canyon. And Reagan Lothar and Flash Gordon. Yes, sir, Chief. We'll do our best. <clears throat> Gentlemen. Caitlin, you recognize some faces there? Oh, yeah. All of them. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> This is already my favorite episode. And, you know, <laughs> oh, I should point out, since huh? Steve Canyon is in this, Steve Canyon was created by Milton Kniff, who founded my library. He's why I have a job. Whoa. Whoa. Did, yeah, Does literally. he know that they made a cartoon out of this? I, is he credited as one of the writers? Yeah, I think so. Well, I what mean, year, every, they what all year is this from? 72. Yeah, he would have still been alive, so he was okay. probably involved. He signed off on it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, Chief. We'll do our best. <clears throat> Gentlemen, the Chief thanks you for coming. I suppose you're all wondering why you were summoned. Well, our country is in big trouble. All of the great comics whom you're about to see on the screen have mysteriously disappeared. Popeye and Olive Oil, Frank Tiger, Shepard. Blondie and Dagwood, Hi and Lois, Little Iodine, the Catch and Jummer family, Lucky and Rickard. the inimitable Inspector. Mallard Quincy, Fillmore. Beetle Bailey and Sarge, Shoot. Maggie and Jake, the Little King, Stuffy Smith and Louise and others. And not the Lockhorns. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Zippy the pinhead. Uh, Caitlin, if I had watched this with you, it would have been <laughs> way That's different. That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. The That's the guy. Jammers. What, what's his name? I think his name is... Listen. I don't... That was the only one I did not recognize. The uh, wi little wizard dude, but... You recognize them. Right? Yeah, yeah Cats Cats one Jammers. of the first American comics ever created. Let's, let's listen to his name coming up here. The little wizard man. Okay. Family and the inimitable inspector, Quincy, Beetle Bailey and Sarge, Maggie and Jake, the Little King, Stuffy Smith and Louise and others. With these comics gone, that was the president, by the way, giving them a debriefing on all the people who <laughs> who will be in this oh, cartoon. Man, to be America. in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like this is like your uh, like your day to day. Like that's your meeting. That's your more. It's like, it's like an ESPN commercial, right? <laughs> He lived like an ESPN commercial. All right. Here. These comics gone, the American people will soon have nothing to laugh at, except us politicians. So you see, it's a matter of the highest national importance that they find. Do you know the magician? Yeah, man, Andrew, the magician. Yeah. Oh, you, you, really? George, you, this knew is, ma you know yeah, what's he, weird he, about this is these are like a lot of these, a lot of these are really early comic strips like that by the 70s. I would be surprised if people even knew about. Well, definitely not kids. Maybe adults did. Yeah, like, definitely adults. Yeah. Yeah. 
they were brought back in the 80s as defenders of the earth i think yeah yeah so that's yep. how i know mandrake yeah. yeah and the guy next to him is also from mandrake oh, oh I is hope he Mar- i hope mark trail is in lothar this. yeah he's like kind of a yeah he's another character in mandrake. zero mark trail appearances next ah, story yeah zero. Find these comics quickly. The future of the entire American political system depends on it. Oh. High stakes. He's the man who made it. Professor Morbid Grimsby, with the help of my evil computer, will completely eliminate laughter from the world. Computer, computer, on the wall. How can laughter be stopped kind of once and... Jay Ward animation style. It, the it does. Style, and I feel yeah. like that was like every villain in 1970s cartoon, too, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Like that, that guy. Have a mustache and be sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, eyebrows, the angry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old. Computer, computer, on the wall. How can laughter be stopped once and for all? Ah, that is easy. The comics are responsible for a great deal of laughter. The first step is to stop the comics. And how do I do that, you despicable pile of nuts and bolts? You invite the comics to spend their vacations aboard your yacht. Then you bring them here to the secret island where they become your permanent guests. Brilliant idea! Glad I thought of it. As long as they're my prisoners, nobody can laugh at them! So did you, you pick up on the exposition there? He wants to like lure them all to a boat to go on a cruise and and uh, nobody can like an, laugh. I feel like an episode of Rock and Wrestling that we watched had the exact same plot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. And it's just evil for evil's sake, too. You know, I just yeah. want to stop laughter. There's no like reason. It doesn't go into like his parents or anything, like why he became who he was. Um, <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> Greetings, Popeye. Ahoy, Whippy. I'm going to be the skipper of a yacht, and I want you to be me voice mate, second mate, and one-man crew. Pack your sea bag. Aye, aye, skipper. Hey, what are you doing in the kitchen? I'm packing the sea bags for the first mate, second mate, and crew, as you ordered, sir. Next, the Bumsteads. Hmm, a special delivery letter for Bumstead. This time, I won't get zonked by Bumstead when he runs out. I'll outwit him and deliver it to the back door. We're ready for you. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of thinking He's out talking loud. Talking to the letter. Mm. Yeah, there's there's so much. He, he doesn't want to get zonked. Is he doesn't want to get zonked by. Understandable. <laughs> I expect a zonking. That. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on that because I loved it when he said, "I don't want to get zonked." <laughs> the back door. Hope Dagwood's eating a sandwich. And that's what his voice sounds like, by the way. I teased it a couple times, but yeah. I never mm-hmm. told you what it actually sounded like. So that's his voice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you Dagwood? I'm late, Blondie. I'm going to take a shortcut through the backyard. Here we go. It's on. I have a special oh. delivery letter for you, Bumstead. Gee, thanks. Say, how did you know I was coming out the back door? Blondie, we want a free all-expenses-paid vacation, a cruise to the South Seas. What a wonderful way for the children to spend their summer vacation. The original mismatched couple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they really were. And by the way, this, it, I mean, it doesn't necessarily need a laugh track, you know. I mean, it, it would help. But, like, there's zero soundtrack to this. There's never, oh, yeah, like, no any, music. like, music to, like, build any, any scenes or anything. It's just, it's <laughs> silent throughout the entire thing. Except for that that rock and roll song that sounds like it was sung by the Brady Bunch at the beginning, the, the man who hated laughter. Hi, Dagwood. Hi, hi. 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 Now, now, wait a minute. See what I got? Lois and I want a free all-expense-paid vacation cruise. Hey, that's the same thing we want. A free vacation. That'll be the first since a debt with an expensive vacation. Uh, oh. Husbands. Uh-huh. You know how they dress on those cruises. You girls didn't forget anything, did you? I guess they didn't. Yeah. So 
So, yeah, Caitlin, how was that for you? How was that for you to see Hi and Dagwood in one scene together for the very first time ever? A I little mean, uncomfortable, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. All right. And now, Private Beetle Bailey. So they're sending out the invitations now to get them on the cruise. Ah, here's my fortune cookie. I hope it says I'm going to meet a tall redhead. Hmm. Private Beetle Bailey, you are to report to Skipper Popeye aboard the SS Hilarious for a highly secret mission. Dispose SS of this Hilarious? <laughs> That's the only cruise I would ever go on, <laughs> is the SS Hilarious. <laughs> In the proper way. Sign General Halftrack. Uh, I like Sarge. how he reads it like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is also just eyes. like making me for some reason think about in the original it when all of the characters like get their their phone call or invitation to return to dairy like that's kind of what's happening that's what it is, <laughs> it is. Stephen, yeah. yeah stephen king he ripped that off yeah from this sign general right Hattrack. here we all uh, float down here <laughs> how do you dispose of a secret message uh yeah sure beetle uh, let's see i think you're supposed to stuff it into an egg roll and then i think you're supposed to bury it under a load of sweet and sour pork and then some chicken chow mein and lobster wasu cup and egg foo young and roast pork lo mein and then some wugu pan and egg drop soup and chicken chow mein and some green pepper steak and shrimp and lobster sauce and then some curry chicken and on top of that a little roast pork i cow and some sweet and sour fish and maybe almond cookies uh, pardon me and chicken and the little fried rice. Uh, somehow, I don't think this is right. Uh, Lieutenant Flapsar, what's the proper way to dispose of a secret message? You're supposed to eat it, Bailey. <laughs> I kind of like the animation there. <laughs> kind, of, kind of looks like a Johnny Ryan <laughs> some sort. I, 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 I want this gross. as a gift too by the way this would be a great gift <laughs> I've been had is that kind of Paul Lind like there too Nick is that the guy's name who did the Halloween special whoopsie yeah, yeah. a little bit sure it's a little bit I've been had I've been had <laughs> Hilarious. I'm your skipper Popeye, and I want to welcome you aboard the SS Hilarious. Step lively now. Wow, an integrated boat ride. You know about them? Yeah, Quincy and uh, shoot, who's the uh, Tiger? Maybe Tiger. It's Tiger. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy, anger. Woo! Ahoy, oh, haul up the extra special cargo. Hey, you see what I see, Tiger? Well, I thought this was going to be a pleasure cruise. This is going to be such a lovely cruise, Jeeves. Yes, dear. It's so nice that you agreed to travel light. Sarge, come on board until the ship sails. They're probably having a bon voyage party. Does that mean food? Come on, Otto. Ciao. <laughs> What a nice vacation. Such a lovely setting to do the long rain. I wonder where you dumped the wash for. I, mean, I think it's kind of funny that she brought the laundry with her on the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Those Germans. <laughs> it's a special place, Mama. Ah, yeah. Complete made official sign. Ah, this ship has every convenience. Very relaxing, Captain, to listen to the sounds of the ocean, but I think I take a walk around the deck. I will not lose my temper. I will not lose my temper. I will spink them without losing my temper. Who's the king? He's the little king by Otto Soglo. He's the best. This is like a really early comic strip that ran for a long time. There was a little king hotel and restaurant. It was like a huge deal. And uh, he was a silent character. He doesn't talk. Mm. And he was he was the uh, the the icon for King's feature syndicate, too. Right. Wasn't he? Like, I always feel like I saw his little face. On... He might have been. Yeah, yeah. It's king, king features, which is yeah, features. William Randolph Hearst's like newspaper syndicate. You know, right. That he, he found it. He was like, that's what I recognize him from is like from yeah. the icon of that. But yeah. yeah. So, I said to her, some people 
people just don't watch where they're going. Oh, Pardon sorry, your highness. Oh yes, <laughs> Sarge's <laughs> top was. But look at <laughs> look at Blondie and Lois sharing a scene together. I want more. Pals, yeah. I want an entire episode of of Blondie and, and Lois. Just what, talking, a round table. Not you know, it doesn't have to be on a cruise. Doesn't have to be I a fancy like, background. Yeah, I want the Douglas Sirk movie where they're actually having a secret affair because they're unfulfilled Ugh. in their marriages. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, here comes shirtless Sarge. Think I'll take a dip in the pool. How about you, Beetle? Sure. Wow, too cold for me. I uh, changed my mind, Sarge. That's the trouble with you, Beetle. No stamina, no guts. Now take me. I'm tough. I can take it. I'm steeled against adversity. I welcome the hard knocks of life. Nothing's too tough for me. Nothing's too hard for me. While others quit because Good the going is getting nice. hard, that's where I just get tougher. Remember, Beetle, no matter how difficult or tough or hard the going gets, it's never too hard for me. <laughs> Ah, I can't stand hard water. Wow. I like the physics on that. Yeah. Oh, man. He has a mouth. I know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's insanity. Joe, I'm assuming you don't know. <laughs> Lil Abner? No. <laughs> uh oh. God, seriously? <laughs> no, this is uh, Henry, who is uh, my least favorite cartoon character of all time. Really? Uh, oh. He doesn't have a mouth. Uh, like, that's like the whole thing about this character, really, is that he doesn't have a mouth. So it's weird that they put one on him here. But he's odd. just like a little freaky, freaky dude. And uh, yeah, he's, he's bald. I don't know that he has a family. I'm not, I'm not sure what. <laughs> the Does he is, talk, though? Is terrible. In the too. comics, does he trip? Does yeah, he talk? Yeah. He's a mute. Yeah, he's a mute. Or is mute. I don't know. If, yeah. Is it just a him mute. reacting is... to things like in the yeah. comics? Yes, okay. and that's how Little King was too. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, did Henry catch anything fishing today, Jigs? <laughs> Like, look that looks that. like Avatar oh. The Last Airbender. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> it's Aang. Uh, Henry and, and Sarge sharing a scene together. I mean, <laughs> is this blowing your mind, Caitlin? This has to be blowing your mind. It is, but this is a little, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, this is like Avengers some Endgame. Body horror or something. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the Crim Master Cycle films. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Matthew Barney. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just what is for dinner, Wendy? The most noble gourmet dinner of them all. One pheasant and a glass burger, one corned beef and cabbage burger, a daggled special burger, three orders of Wiener Schnitzel burger, one low calorie burger, one spinach burger, one dog food burger, and one harmony grits burger. That burn tasty. I better go check our spark plug. Remember when he said that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great snuffy voice. I think they <laughs> nailed it with that they one. They 100 got that one right. Dad, burn tasty. Do we get to hear Louise? I better go check our spark plug. Uh, yeah, but I might have, oh, might have cut her out. That's I don't right. know. I'm just right. curious. I can go digging. No, no. That spark plug there. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can't bear to look. Three balls of fire! Hey! Spark plug ice! The musical is Jim more body horror. <laughs> this, is more, this is more body horror. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I have a new fetish now. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't realize it, but <laughs> still don't know how to, what to call it, but whatever uh, that is. I'll give you a second. <laughs> I'll give you a second. I know it when I see it. <laughs> I'll give you a second to screen grab it, George. Go ahead. <laughs> Just writing up my Craigslist ad. Hold on. Well, the show and must go on. Four. Come on, Spark <laughs> Hit it. A one and a two and a three and a four. Great, let's go. Is he playing the strings inside of his body? Yeah, it's implausible, if you ask me. So uh, oh. they, they're doing like a they're doing like a song for the ship, like you know, cruise ships have like yeah, singers and stuff. Ooh. So yeah, they're doing some entertainment here for the cruise, and Olive Oil uh, volunteered. Don't I look dreamy in my I mean, she has an eating 
purchase order, right? That's... <laughs> what did you say? That what? she has an eating disorder. Yeah. 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 It's Definitely. Disturbing. Yeah. Do they ever explore that in the uh, comic strip? Yeah. Yeah, that disorder? was a big thing in the 50s. <laughs> okay. 52 to 55, it was an arc. <laughs> It's like a postpartum thing after the sweeping. Right, it was right. comedy gold, really. <laughs> Why are you spending so much time in the bathroom? I love the villain. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is the moment where a lot of people shut it off. Like <laughs> that they were just like, all right, they've gone too far. This is like, yeah, I don't know. We're, I think we're, it's we're, charming. Yeah. I've been awake all so long to shake my hips and the thing can fall out loud. I like screaming in my new bikini. Aha! <laughs> the computer is now sending out. Sing a Jan Terry song. <laughs> <laughs> So Marvel magnetic beam that will find the SS Galerius and draw it into my sinister trap. Hmm, most unusual. The ship appears to be steering itself, thus leaving both hands free for more important matters. Wow, blow me down. Where is we? This is Professor Morbid Grimsby speaking. Your pleasure cruise is over, my friends. You will all be my permanent guests here on the secret island forever and ever and ever and ever. Gee, I only told the mailman to stop the mail for two weeks. Well, this is the area where the ship was last. Now it's the serious cartoon, guys. We had, we had some fun with the uh, with the funny ones. Now we're gonna get we're gonna dip into the serious ones. The now. heroes, okay. Yep. Close quarters on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing one safety belt. <laughs> Mandrick, could you please move over a little bit? <laughs> Why do I have to get middle? <laughs> well, this is the area where the ship was last reported. There's an island down there. Strange. There's no island shown on this map. Let's take a closer look, see. If I can find a level spot, we'll put this bird down. Is that Steve Canyon? I think it's Steve Canyon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come and investigate. This is no illusion. Better radio for help. This is Steve Canyon calling Flash Gordon. Steve Canyon calling Flash Gordon. Come in, Flash. Urgent. Flash, we're picking up a distress signal from Steve Canyon. Does he give his location? The message stopped. I think I can pinpoint his location by using the automatic direction finder. There we go. There's our first half. Uh, so yeah, Flash wow. Gordon and Dale are up in space, and uh, they're hopefully going to come down and, and rescue them. What do you guys think so far? I'm loving this. I see no problem at all. Well, here's the thing. I cut it down significantly to only the good, the parts that I enjoyed. If we had to watch the full <laughs> olive oil thing, dancing <laughs> in a bikini, that goes on even longer. The cats and hammers inter- intervene, and they throw a telescope at her. And it like gets caught on her throat and she has to do the dance with the telescope caught on her throat. I'm laughing um, already. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I'm really enjoying watching this now with you guys. Like I wasn't enjoying it that much this afternoon when I was putting this together. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is something that you have to watch with other people. Yeah. I think um, so. I think it, I'm entertained by it. Yeah, I know. Maybe I mean I could pop on the full thing right now. We could we could we could shift gears. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, George, you curated some commercials for this. What do you got for us? Well, it's just a bunch of commercials from the fifties to the two thousands, I guess, that are um, comic strip based. Saturday morning cartoons. We'll be right back. Dick Tracy here, closing in on Musky and those eggs. Okay, Musky, the jig is up. Nice of you to drop by, Mr. Tracy. All right, Musky, fork over those eggs. You got me wrong. These eggs are about to hatch my two brand new store-bought Soaky Toys. Well, I'll be. You're a brand new Soaky Toy, Dick Tracy. 
And so am I. Musky, the law-abiding muskrat. Now that we're new soaky fun bath toys, we can really clean up this town. Soaky soaps you clean in ocean full of fun. Scrubbly-bubbly, flippity-flabbity, clean before you're done. Soaky soaps you clean and every girl and boy gets a toy. When it's empty, when it's empty, it's a toy. Be on the lookout for the new Dick Tracy and Musky Soaky Toys. Take a soaky fun bath today. It's fun. More fun than getting dirty. <laughs> wait, he imprisoned him? Wait, wait, wait. Can you pause? So sure. are they friends in the comic strip, Dick Tracy and that guy? I've never, I have no idea who the other guy is. I don't know either, but that, it's definitely not a character from Dick Tracy. No. <laughs> I think it, it must be from some animation or, yeah. well, I don't know, but I just love the images of Dick Tracy in the, in the <laughs> bathtub with his two-way wrist radio and the hat on and stuff. I mean, what a special day. We got to see Sarge topless and Dick Tracy topless. What yeah. a day. Drink it's a, it in, it's girls. An erotic uh, comic strip episode. <laughs> well, we got to see Olive Oil in her bikini. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yes. <laughs> oh, Sexiest right. shatter day ever. And here we're Shexi- going. It's the sexiest. <laughs> we're, going, we're going a little further back here. Dirty. Look, Fritz, Mama puts the pies out to cool. Wrong, Hans. Mama puts the pies out for us. And <laughs> off we go. <laughs> what? A captain inspector, hell? Oh. Mm-hmm. Good, Cats but jammer? my stomach don't feel so good. It's changed its name Too much to quit. There those smarties are. Ready, inspector? Ready, captain. That's it. Let it go. Let go, naughty. Ah, now, now you get the medicine. What you decide? Wait, here's what the darlings need. Just <laughs> abysmal. The good tasting oh medicine. Don't physically abuse them. Action. Give them the, the pepto The same action that coats inside the bottle works way down in the tummy to soothe tummy trouble. Well, we didn't got the spanking. But we did got the fight. Smart Alex. Ow, now you ow, get some of our ow, medicine. Ow, There's all kinds of medicine for the kids. <laughs> but when it comes to tummy trouble, give out with the good tasting bun. Pink Pepto Bismol. Uh, you see the word, wait, wait, wait. Can you back up? Do you see the word diarrhea on there? Oh, I did. <laughs> Loud and clear. Yeah. <laughs> and clear. And I bet this this commercial is probably funnier during World War One than uh, <laughs> the nineteen seventy two. Blondie, what a beautiful sight. Well, Cookie's class is having a party, and I'm making sandwiches with Kraft Singles. Those kids deserve the high wow. quality of Kraft Singles. Like Roger and they Rabbit, sure yeah. love that great American flavor. Yum, yum. <laughs> of course, Kraft Singles are also a real good value, so that should make you happy. I think that's happy. About Blondie, I'm hungry. Blondie. Dad was just a kid at heart. What's that? Is that uh, usually like with comics, it's all about line economy. You know, how can you get across everything in the fewest lines possible? And both Dagwood and Blondie have a lot of lines in their hair. Oh, like line. Feel, not, yeah, lines. Not yeah. dialogue lines. But no, like no, no. Lines but if, of... When you're drawing comics, you know, right. like, but yeah they, yeah, they have a lot of detail in their hair. And he well, drew 30... really like really thin detailed lines in the comic mm-hmm. too. It's really Yeah, easy. interesting. Yeah. For a 30 second spot, if this was a movie. They would be uh, streamlined. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any way you slice it, America spells cheese K R A F T. Incorrectly. What now? Lunch? Why, I always have peanut butter and jelly. What's this? Smucker's new peanuts, fruit spreads, and peanut butter with 30% less sugar. And my picture's on the jar. They spread so easily. Mm, it's delicious. And 30% less sugar is great with all the PB&Js I eat. Hey, Lucy, my picture's on the jar. So is mine, only prettier. Smucker's new peanuts, fruit spreads, and peanut butter. 30% less sugar makes them a smarter PB&J. They got the Charles Schultz fonts for that. Yeah, and, and it's an actual comic strip. That's the only That's commercial. Cool. And then here's What's 10 this? seconds of Far Side. Gary Larson's The Far Side comes alive for the first time ever in a wild Halloween special. Gary Larson's Tales from the Far Side Wednesday. Meanwhile, back in Egypt. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. We should have watched that for Halloween. <laughs> Next year. Yeah, Kaylin, what was your three. Kaylin, what was your first love of comics? Uh, like comic question. strips? Of comic strips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. Peanuts, but my favorite comic strip is Nancy. By Ernie Bushmiller, who is okay. also not in this film, so maybe it's not a, that good. Oh, is she a king? Is she king features? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I know mm-hmm. some people got yeah, stiff. Yeah, Nancy's Lego. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people have a contract thing with Sluggo. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I like that I refer to them as people. Some people got stiffed in this. I also like that they refer in the in the film to them as as the comics. You know, they're like not he's not he didn't kidnap the characters. He kidnapped the comics. Each one of them is a comic. I know. Cute. Are they aware that they're comics too? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll get like, into that. It's, it's like Blade too. Runner. They uh Oh, right. <laughs> they have to keep the information from them. It's exactly the same as Blade Runner. It's no different than Blade Runner. You're going to find a little uh, origami uh, unicorn at the end. and Yeah. Don't wondering. give away the ending. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Part two of The Man Who Hated Laughter. There's a- All right. So that's Flash Gordon. He's coming down to save the comics from going on to the professor's island where he's trying to kill laughter by killing them. Bring, I don't think he wants to kill him. I think he just wants to kidnap him. Island over there. I better check it out. If I swim over, there'll be less chance of being seen. Now, this guy, he thinks out loud more than anybody. Flash Gordon, he leads the league in thinking out loud. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> just poured into it. Here comes the welcome wagon. Wow. This is definitely the, the horniest episode we've ever yeah. watched. <laughs> I didn't even realize when I was watching it today, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's smart. No use slugging it out with him. There must be another way up to the castle. Oh, another one. I think I'll sit this one out. Who are you talking to? My robot destructor tanks. He didn't song them. He zapped them. Right. It's different. The solar radio. No way of contacting Dale now. See, I, I, I have problems with this. It, like, that was his fuck up. That was his own fuck up. It should have been like yeah. one of the robots that knocked it out. Mm-hmm. Right? Give the robots a win. He just like slipped and dropped the, the satellite, the spy satellite thing. Well, it humanizes him a little bit, you know? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That he's a fuck up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the solar radio. No way of contacting Dale now. What the? What the? <laughs> that should be another bingo card. What the? Yes. the trap yeah. door. Just, what? Yeah, trap door should be one, and then also what the? There's no <laughs> yep. slide though. I'm I'm not used to seeing trap doors where there's not a character right. made slide the whole way down. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see right what? there. Flash, they got you too. Yeah, so far the rescue team is batting zero for four. Everybody calls it O for four. You don't call it zero for four. <laughs> I wish it was like these four guys and Snuffy Smith. Like they're all... <laughs> Exactly. Why do Help we have to defeat to... the robots? Oh, I'm turning, seg- I'm coming, you know. <laughs> Why do we have to segregate like the the serious action guys from like the the funny ones? Like, yeah. let's mix them all together. It'd be more. Fun. What should we do now, Henry? <laughs> no, I'm sure the comics are on this island somewhere. We've got to find a way out. Look, that rock. It's moving. It's Louisi. It's the Phantom and Tim Tyler. <laughs> it's the fam and the young boy who seems to spend a great deal of time in his place. They what still they... have a thing going. Uh, what are they doing together? <laughs> you know about Tim Tyler? No, I mean I've heard of it, but that's yeah, not uh, uh, not learning, as popular as the others. Yeah, yeah. learning the authorities about Tim Tyler. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they normally work together either. They're yeah. just like in this, they're inseparable. Okay. So. <laughs> It's the Phantom and Tim Tyler. Greetings! I am Professor Morbid Grimsby, and I want to welcome you here as my permanent guest. Hey, what's a big idea holding us prisoners? Very simple. I hate laughter. You comic characters are responsible for a great deal of laughter. I hold you here on the secret island, and thus I stamp out laughter. Why, that's the meanest, nastiest, lowest, most despicable trick I ever heard of. Oh, Lois's only line in the entire thing. Hmm. 
That's it. That's it for Lois. Enjoy her while she lasted. Yep. Thank Classic you, Mrs. Langston. Parts for women. Yep. You shouldn't hate laughter, Professor. What's wrong with being miserable? Oh, Professor, if you just let us, we'll prove to you that it's better to laugh than to feel miserable. Oh, yeah? How? Uh, uh, we'll put on a comedy show, and then you'll have to laugh, and you'll see how nice it feels. You're going to make me laugh? Don't make me laugh. I mean, impossible. If we make you laugh, will you let us go? All right, Miss Smarty Pants Olive Oil, it's a deal. But if you don't make me laugh, you have to stay here on the secret island twice as long. <laughs> All right, we have- Why are there yes. bricks on this ship? How did that work? And what's happening here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, wait. Just, are... just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so those are the new stakes. If he laughs, then they get off the... Okay. 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 Yeah, we'll see what happens. Cool. <laughs> long. Kind of like the song or hater challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it the song or hater challenge. I live twice as long. First up at the comedy show, Daniel Songer. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. This this is on it. This is this is the edit. I didn't. This is not my edit. This is there. Twice as long. Good. Wow. It's no <laughs> use, Lothar. We can't budge these rocks. It's no use, Lothar. We can't budge these rocks. What's that? Another explosion? Look up there. It's our only way out of here. First, we'll have to get that grill off. This should do the job. Now one of us has to get up there and pull up the others. I've got an idea. We can improvise a catapult. But, but why doesn't Mandrick just, like, levitate them all up? I don't understand Mandrick's limitations with his magic, as you're about to see. We'll, we'll just, he mostly uh, does sleight of hand stuff, like crowd work, uh, like like bar <laughs> stuff, like stuff at yeah. bars. Yeah, yeah like making the quarter years. disappear. Yeah, he's yeah. mostly like a street guy, like street yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> busker. Ready, Lothar. Ready. The animation is just so bad. Like, look, it's they just skipped, all, they skipped just, a lot of steps. Yeah, <laughs> lots of reactions. And also, some music would really help build the tension. Oh, right. uh, work. Oh. <laughs> Mandrake didn't seem excited. He was just kind of like, "Oh, he made it." Yep. Oh, well, it looks like he made it. Maybe there's zoom froze. <laughs> Crawling through tunnels should be another bingo. <laughs> Pretty close to human centipede going on right there. <laughs> Where's Tim Tyler, by the way? Yeah. Uh, so much to check on him. So they got out, but then they fell through another trap door. Now there's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that dog just pops up every so often. Is the dog... Phantoms. It's, the, it's a phantom's dice. I think it's a wolf. Okay. All right. Another to threat. be specific. <laughs> There's Tim Tyler. His name is Devil. <laughs> oh. Tool time Tim Tyler. Yep. Another trap. We'll never make it. Now let's see those fools try to make me laugh. Ahoy, folks. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> We have a really big shoe for you tonight. Our first act will be Daisy the Wonder Dog. All right, Daisy. Give me your paw. Now roll over and play dead. Now beg. And now... Huh? I thought it was a comedy show. I didn't really... <laughs> well, it's a setup for a hilarious bit that's about to okay. follow. Ooh. Yeah. Nick, don't shit on Dottie. She's all giving right. it her all up there. All right. The result of many hours of difficult training, another dog act, Sarge and Otto. Gee, I hope they practice those stunts. Ah, 
So it didn't work. They're doing this comedy show. The professor mm-hmm. didn't laugh. So yeah. next to it. Was... <laughs> you are the man who hated the laughter now. I love the Phantom Wait. so much. Wait, I hear laughter. This way. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> that devil. That was like Poochie going home to live in his home planet. It was like gra- dragging the animation. <laughs> or or like in the, the lo- steps. in a low-budget action movie where they cut to throwing the stuffed yeah. lion right. at the guy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a cartoon. <laughs> and just, like, that's not the right reaction to him getting attacked by a mountain lion. And look at Steve Canyon's face here. It's like they I think maybe they drew. God, what did they do wrong here? They drew the outline first or something? I can't the tell. They had to squeeze t- in the rest of the features to get yeah. it to fit into the frame. Well, I'm confused by the collars be- between Steve <laughs> Canyon's collar and Lothar's <laughs> collar because... A bit like an M.C. Escher drawing. Yeah, it looks it like is. the thing with two heads. <laughs> Are you all right? I think so. Let's go. Paul Rex Morgan MP. <laughs> <laughs> I will, nice. but but first, is he King's features? Ah, <laughs> uh, I got a shot. Have to look it up. He might be united. <laughs> Mary Worth around? I think so. Let's go. We haven't got much time left. Now what? Molten lava. Listen to that. We must be getting close. What about this lava, guys? Any ideas? Of- lava. <laughs> What about this lava, guys? I think the director was too scared to tell him to redo it. You know, like he said lava. No said <laughs> lava. The man who hated lava. <laughs> <laughs> what about this lava, guys? Any ideas about how we can get across this baby? How about this? <laughs> this baby? He, Is he, called the, he called the lava a baby. Uh, yeah, get across this baby. <laughs> Typical guy talk. Yeah, that's a guy's talk. How we can get across this baby? How about this rope? Cool if time. I could just grab that rock. Right on, Tim. You missed your calling, Tim. You should have been a rodeo cowboy. Could have been he's with tw- me. <laughs> but he's also 12. Like, he didn't miss his yeah. calling. Still got plenty of time to <laughs> be a rodeo cowboy. To- <laughs> Look, up there. What's that? A knight in armor. Look at that. Back, Canaes. Beware, thou varlets. Ye may cringe with fear. The mightiest knight in all the land, Sir Brutus, is here. Looks like an evil knight. This is a job for an old friend of mine. I summon Prince Valiant. Oh, he's there. Greetings. It doesn't look that intimidating either. (laughs) All right, so he can just like summon all of a sudden Prince Valiant if he wants to. Greetings, Mandrake. Val, we need your help. Glad to oblige, Mandrake. Prince Valiant, huh? I'll show the knave. I'll grind him up into nursery rhymes. I'll chop him into Mother Goose books. I'll... Prince Valiant? Oh, uh, 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 greetings, Your Highness. Uh, your Valiants? Uh, uh, oh, pardon me, sir. Uh, you'll excuse me, but I have a previous engagement. Oh, so we didn't get to see a fight. So he just scared him away. No. It's a waste of a spell, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Disappearing in a cloud. Spell? Uh, Glad I oh, yeah, yeah. bingo card thing. That's a bingo card thing. We got yeah. fight clouds. We also got yep. yeah, leaving yeah, that, clouds. Yeah, look at that. Disappearing in a cloud. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Val. Glad I could help. Why, why did he send him back? Why didn't he just let That's him continue? He yeah, he just came in to scare Brutus away, and then he... No he questions like, about the future, either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Andrew, while I'm here, how did I die? <laughs> Oh, it's I summon you later. It's terrible. Mandrake, why is there so much writing in my comic strip? <laughs> <laughs> Prince Valley, it's like, no, don't send me back. Don't send me back. <laughs> you know diseases we haven't cured back in my time? <laughs> Follow him. Maybe he'll lead us to the comics. Oh, 
Dagwood, everyone's putting on such a nice show, and the professor hasn't even smiled. It makes me sad. It doesn't make me anything. I'm so hungry. Do you like us to make a sandwich for you, Mr. Bumstead? A Dagwood sandwich? In that case, we'll need help. Hans, switch, let's go. Okay, I just want to point out that they're going to make Dagwood a sandwich because that will help. <laughs> I don't know how it'll help, but like that's that's where we're going with the story now. He's gonna yeah. go make Deg with a sandwich at the place, uh, at, at the at the at the mountain that they're kidnapped right. in. Right. Okay. Okay, now let's go. Okay, Hans, throw the other slice of bread up. You did it, Quincy! Oh, dear! Now that was a sandwich. <laughs> I don't entirely understand this scene. So then the sandwich breaks through the floor and goes all the way down. And now he gets mad. He's like, whoa, I don't know why he's mad at the Well, they destroyed his place. Yeah. Oh, they wrecked... okay. All right. Dude, the resale value place. of his island is like, <laughs> it's done. Right. Especially in this economy that we're living in here yes. like post pandemic. Yeah. 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 Himself in the mirror. He's laughing. You lost the bet. You're laughing. I mean, he's gone insane, right? This yeah, isn't like a case of like hilariousness. <laughs> this is a case of mental breakdown. I think, like in a court of law, yeah, I think that he he yeah, I think he could get off. Like, I think that the, they would have to stay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because he's clearly insane. He's not genuinely laughing. He has a mental disorder right now. Right. At three o'clock, by the way. Laughing, but you gotta let us go. <laughs> oh yes, Quincy. <laughs> it was a ridiculous, funny picture you kids showed me. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> okay, so they were freed. There's another scene at the end with the submarine and Popeye eating his spinach at the end. Um, watch the full thing but this is this is how the whole thing they, they escaped the island and here they are Isn't it exciting? oh wait, wait we got some laundry oh Dagwood, isn't it exciting having lunch with the chief what do you suppose lunch will be well i was hoping maybe it'll be a big sandwich mrs bumstead <laughs> greetings the chief is pleased you could all come as his guests. He sends his apologies for being delayed, but he'll be with you shortly. We understand. After all, the chief is a busy man. I'll bet he's working on some important papers right now. Uh, Who was the president in 1972? Because that was the president there. Nixon. That was Nixon? All right. Yeah. So I think Nixon. he was laughing about some sort of like anti Semitic comment H.R. <laughs> Haldeman just made. I don't know if that's too deep of a cut. No, in the full version, it doesn't do that. There we go. There it is. The man wow. who hated laughter. The Cliff Notes version. Um, Caitlin, I feel like 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 the Wechner sent like you guys got to like show that in its entirety on the big screen, right? I like, mean, he, yeah, sure. 
Totally. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I mean, you, I think you really undersold it. I think it was, uh, well, I think it was spectacular. I'll tell you what, I had so much more fun watching it with you guys than I did by myself because, uh, it just, especially with you, Kaylin, cause like you were just like, oh yeah, there it is. The cats and jammers. And, I was like know. really hyped up. I was like having like a manic episode or something. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, oh, I want to show something. So, what do you guys think? What, uh, what's your What's your take? What's everybody's take? You uh, was it was, you a, it the, it worst was a... of the, was the worst one of the worst one of the season? Of no, Saturday? no, not no? at all. Okay, no, it was, it was that last week. Was... And okay. I, the animators had to do a bunch of different styles and merge them all together. So That's true. I think that was impressive. That's true. And I, I feel they, were like they did to. them accurately too. Mm -hmm. You know, like the characters looked like draw, were drawn significantly different from each other, and they had so many greats in there. It was wonderful. Little iodine. Yep. You don't see uh, her every day. <laughs> I, I heard them mention little iodine. Iodine. The real like, Who character. the hell is little iodine? Is it Lil? L -I -L? Lil I Lil it's little iodine, but it's like, you know, so. And I realized I misspoke. I said Nancy was King Feature. She was not. She was United. As soon as you said United, I was like, that's right. Um, but <laughs> um, revoked. I know. Oh, oh boy. But yeah, she, you know, there was like Nancy and little Lulu and little Iodine, just like little girl characters who were like mischief makers. So. Yeah. No, they had them all in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to show. So, Caitlin, you sent this a couple weeks ago when uh, we were doing the Garfield one, some photos that you found. You sent them because there was there's a lot of Garfield Jim Davis stuff in there, but you also sent some other stuff. And here's just a refresher of one of those that you sent. Um, <laughs> what, what what's the story? Like I showed this one last time, I think. But like, what's yeah. the story with uh, with these photos? Like, where do they come from? Is the photos from, like... I, I sent last time, and I sent you some more today. I don't know if you saw them, but I, I, yeah, from, I included uh, them. Yeah, yeah. They're from um, the International Museum of Cartoon Art, which used to exist, and it was run by Mort Walker. Uh, the creator of Beetle Bailey. And um, these are photos in, in their archive, which we now own since that museum closed, of like parties that they used to have. <laughs> okay. Do you guys <laughs> crazy, have parties like crazy this? Crazy parties. Do well, you, guys have... you know, yeah, we've done it before. <laughs> but again, like I, I referenced ESPN commercials before. I feel like your office is like ESPN commercials where it's like LeBron James, like making copies at the copy or copy machine or something our you meetings have... are more like the meeting photo that we showed last time is the the kathy drawing i, I included that again i thought that was okay. worth revisiting. so uh, but here's some other ones that you sent uh, this is a new one here and uh which one do you think is me uh you got to be on the left i mean you're you're the nancy. nancy fan yeah yeah, yeah. you're yeah you're that's, basically that's nancy. me as Nancy and my colleague Wendy as uh, Terry from Terry and the Pirates, um, <laughs> Milton Kadiff's other uh, creation. We have a ton of costumes in our in our collection, and those are like terrifying paper mache masks that were made for some like small town parade. Wow. Oh, so you didn't Nancy you didn't make incredible. that? Like that was like you bought that off of eBay or something? No, the, I mean they came to us in Milton Kadiff's collection, the, oh. the paper mache one. The other one was from um, uh, a. a I think it was from an official mascot costume from United Features, but it's not an Ernie Bushmiller Nancy. It's a, a another later Nancy, which is not nearly as cool. But anyway, we wear it any chance we get. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this and one. So that's the little king. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is from another collection that we have at the library, which is the National Cartoonist Society, which is like the, the only real professional society for, for cartoonists. It was founded in the 50s, and we have their archives, and they had huge, awesome parties on a regular wow. basis, and every famous cartoonist would be in attendance, and these were, I think, they were held somewhere in New York City, and they were like costume balls, and so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's I, I don't think I had this picture available to send to you, but there's people like dressed as Prince Valiant and stuff. And then there's this one, which is, uh, yeah, the little king. I mean, it's like I'm not sure who the guy behind him is supposed to be. It's the original cosplay, really. Right. I mean, like, totally, that's like man. this is like like conventions before conventions were conventions. Right. I mean, exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, to be a fly on the wall of some of these places. <laughs> Oh, I love this one. <laughs> this is like oh. nightmares. This is what nightmares are all about. That's wow. Steve Canning on the right, right? Yeah, oh, I, thought so this the far... the... I thought this was the video for Rebel Yell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the far right is Steve Canyon. I think that guy has a cigarette between his fingers. I can't tell. And, yeah. uh, and I don't How know. How is he smoking that? Is he putting it up to Steve Canyon's lips? 
I guess. So, <laughs> so you, the, you, uh, you don't see that as Billy Idol at all? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. The leather jacket. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't know who is that, who is in the middle, but I think, I think the character on the left is supposed to be Jiggs, who was also in the cartoon we just watched from Bringing Up Father. Mackie and Jigs. He looks familiar. Yeah. 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 Somebody needs to paint this. This is art right here. It's beautiful. I mean, I just want the original photo and I would frame the original photo. Mm -hmm. Like, that's incredible. Uh, All right. Next up, we got. Did I show this one last time? I couldn't remember. (laughs) I think so. Okay. This, I mean, what? You you work in an ESPN commercial. Like, yeah. 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 Betty and Veronica. I was a big Archie fan too. Me and my brothers all were. We got double digests. My mom still for Christmas, she'll put double digests in our stockings. Aww. And uh, yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll still read them too. Yeah. Um, all right. This one I think I showed last time. Yep. But yeah. I wanted to show this one again because there's olive oil and Popeye in there. And uh, there's just something about a photo with a collapsed ladder leaning against a wall that I really like. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but I like it when there's a ladder in the background uh, and olive oil's face is upside down. Yeah, no bikini, though. Too bad. No. <laughs> there's this one. I want to revisit this one, too. We, we showed this one last time. This is a, a woman in a boardroom holding up a picture of Kathy. But my question for you, who's the framed photo behind her of the guy with the white hair? That's Mort Walker. That's Mort so, Walker? Yeah, very oh. dashing photo. But yeah, so he owned this mu- the museum where this meeting is, is taking place. And he made them put their his photo <laughs> up in their break room? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I want, you know, he's I watching want, them at all times. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want that framed photo so bad of Mort Walker. It's probably in my library. <laughs> like my oh, <laughs> Well, we're gonna be there next month. Nobody yeah. would notice if, like, we Go walked digging. off with it. Like, if we if we pulled the if we pulled the car around back, like, could yeah. you like throw it in the trunk for us? Yeah. Like, yeah. disappear in a puff of smoke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last one here. Uh, this is uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ziggy. Yeah, yeah, your favorite. Your, your, this your... one, I just feel like this is so horrible on so many <laughs> levels because it looks nothing like Ziggy. I don't remember him ever like going on safari or whatever is happening here but also like with for the other characters you know their mouths and stuff they painted on and his is like this weird shadowed indent that's you know around his mouth that just looks like like the top of an ass like the worst part of an ass crack it does (laughs) that's what this looks like to me and uh yeah i just can't stand it I can't stand it. Yes, and I and I'm sure that Ziggy wore hats at some point in his lifetime, <laughs> in, in in the in the comic strips. But like, I've never seen him wear a not hat. Why Ziggy. would you put a yeah. hat on the on him now? No, not in the comic strip, but off like when he's out in public, so oh, he doesn't right. get when he, when he doesn't no, have to work. No right. pictures. Right, I'm, I'm off the clock. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So those are Caitlin. Please dig up some more. Another good There's got to yeah. yeah. be some more in there. Another yeah. great batch of picks. <laughs> um, all right. That's all I got. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing to, to glean from any of this. There's nothing to learn here. Nick, did you learn anything? Caitlin, did you learn anything? I learned I did. Jack shit. George, did you learn anything? I think I what? did. Oh. Ah, comic strips. There's delightful sequences of panels with fantastical characters engaged in hilarious banter that culminates in a pithy denouement. As one of the seven lively arts of American culture, comic strips have represented analyzed and shaped our world for well over a century. But do these panels with their jocular and grotesque protagonists suggest an even greater meaning? Many scientists suspect that time itself is quantized. That is, rather than believing in temporal continuity, they posit that there are in fact discrete subunits of time, which would mean that our own lives are actually sequences of static moments. You might say panels. These ordered panels could be spread across the celestial Sunday supplement of existence sandwiched between Funky Winkerbean and the Wizard of Id for the enjoyment of some sadistic but otherwise uninvolved deity. For the insignificant individual, then, there is little to say, but ack? And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. We got two graphics on that one. How did you do that? It's magic. Are you you Mandrake? Mandrake? (laughs) (laughs) 
Wow. Uh, well, well put. Um, all right. That's all I got. You guys got anything else? No, but nope. Kalen, we'll see you next week. We got a special Thanksgiving episode. So come on back for that one. Sounds right. good. Thanks for having me. All Happy right. Shannon, everybody. Happy Shannon, everybody.